three. Why are you doing? Why are you counting like? Because I swear to God, man, I saw like uh, Kanye West do it, and he looked like a badass. He was like three, three, two, two one. Oh, no, all rappers count like that. Because we have to say it at the same time. One, two, three. <laughs> 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 Alright, three, two, one. Good, one. Good morning, morning, early birds. birds. Today we're gonna be doing a chest workout. Most importantly, we are going to be giving you content on what we do in the gym. Uh -huh. Today happens to be chest day, my favorite no, day. No, actually, today um, does I would... not happen to be chest day. Every day is chest day. Now listen, <laughs> no. everyone's always wondering and asking us, what does it take? This is what it takes. Y'all about to see some savagery. Some I like that word. <clears throat> some savagery, man. Damn. Come up with some hot nice. Shit. That's some nice shit. <clears throat> uh, so what's happening here is he's hitting chest press. He's getting uh, all the joints nice and lubricated. What we're gonna do here is we're just gonna watch him hit this for a little bit. There you go. He's contracting the chest. He's contracting the arms. Okay, bro. <sighs> Heavier here. We usually work out. All right, guys. Um, we're getting that chest nice and no, warm. No, no, let me, let me if you want to do some rotator cuff workout like this. Get the, get the, you know what I'm saying, all the joints lubricated, maybe hit some of these. Just boom, 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 right before our chest workout. We usually typically warm up with a uh, 45 plate on incline, because I feel like incline will stimulate the whole upper chest, mid chest, and even a little bit of lower chest. Don't ever focus on just doing the movement, focus on um, the muscle contracting, oh. Oh, contracting the muscle. I keep Back, baby. getting cut off. Oh. Don't listen to him, man. Just there you go. Shit. Look at that. Rep that shit out. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, God. No. All right, guys. Uh, we are actually currently training um, fasted. And I'll feel like um, right now, all of our energy is actually coming from our glycogen stores. Because we have no food in our stomach. Um, press. There you go. Down. Press, down, press, down, press, press, press. <laughs> this is my max. <laughs> I don't get this. There's people that actually mess up this. Okay. Nice arc. Okay. Keep that arc. Keep that arc. Okay. I'll go really wide on this one. This is what you don't want to do. Just warm up with whatever you're comfortable with. And then man, usually- the weights feel heavier here, man. Yeah. It feels like 225. And then let me just get to the point. We're gonna work our way up to a one rep max, then bodybuild traditional style training all the way down to 225, maybe even drop it to a 45 plate and just burn the You're muscle completely, weights, tear it down. Right now, he's going for 225. I'm not in. sponsored by this Pinch company. Pinch your back, guys. Pinch your back. Number one tip. Let's go for, you know, three. Usually when you're going for a uh, mm -hmm. one rep max, don't burn yourself yeah. out. Don't burn yourself out. Burn yourself out after you hit that one rep max. Alright, go ahead. Two, one, three. I've never hit this way before, so. <laughs> but look what happened. Look what happened. Let me tell you what happened. I went down pretty slow, tried going up, got psyched out. Because I've never moved that way before in my life. He went in there with the wrong mindset, guys. He went in there and said, I'm going to fail. This is what failure ahead. looks like. So this is really quick rundown on how to um, hit some heavy weight. Plant your feet a little bit more than 90 degrees. Pinch your back and, and put your shoulders down. Pinch your shoulder blades. Pinch your shoulders. Pinch your shoulder blades. Like you're just trying to hold the pencil between the shoulder blades. You want to get a spark? Pull them back. Get the spark. Okay. And then so sink yourself in. Keep everything tight. The elbows need to be a little bit in. Make sure everything's even. Squeeze the bar. Pick it up. 
<sighs> PR, baby. PR, baby. Push, push. Woo! Oh, he's going for doubles? He's going for double. Woo! All right guys, so pretty much what we just did, we went up to a PR, personal record, um, and then after we, went, after we hit that personal record, we're slowly going back down to 225 or whatever weight that you can rep, eight to 12 reps. Um, that's that what wasn't, that's that really wasn't what, my PR. Oh, it wasn't in PR, but some heavy weight, you know what I'm saying? Always work some heavy weight, then pyramid down, and then go for that eight to 12 rep range whatever, with whatever weight you can do to trigger the muscle. Um, Muscle growth, muscle growth, uh, there's a word for it. Hypertrophy. Hi there it is. My Hi my hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. What they call it. Huh. All right. Come on. As you can see, um, I am a little stronger than my brother. Uh, there's always gonna be someone better than you. There's always gonna be someone better than me. So at the end of the day, focus on yourself. We're gonna rep out now. Uh, have we done success? Yeah. Pause reps. Back to the incline. We're gonna hit um, at least 15 reps here to really burn the muscle and completely annihilate and destroy any kind of microfibers that are in your upper head. Torals. <laughs> Alright bro, what are your three um three most important things? No, this was not planned. He just um, he just put the camera in my face. Yeah, I know. What do you want? <laughs> what are your uh, three main tips for bodybuilding, bro? Three 
Three main tips on the top of my head. Didn't even he didn't even mention the question. Guess what it is? What is it? Number one, you got to be eating enough calories. Calories? I've never even heard you talk. You about need this. calories, buddy, to grow. You don't eat calories, you will remain a marathon runner for the rest of your life. Good point. Two. Hypertrophy. How to maximize hypertrophy? Volume, intensity. Then you have the third one, and strength. You need all of them. If you're doing the same workouts that you did last week, you will not progress. You will not give a reason for your body to grow. Let's say last week I did five reps of 145. This week I do five reps of 145. A year from now I do five reps of 145. You think my body's gonna change anything? Because it's already lifting five reps of 145. No. Listen here guys. You gotta push five reps, 145, first week. Six reps, 145, second week. Make your way up to 12 reps, then increase the weight. Boom. Rinse and repeat, baby. You know what I'm saying? Ask me. Sorry, I just got a curl. All right, um, what's the number one thing that you would say um, in regards to the factors and variables of losing fat? Losing fat? Losing fat, burning fat. Burning fat. Yes. Number one tip. Spontaneous questions 101, go. Number one tip. Go. Go? Go. Water. I would say water is by far the most significant, important factor in losing muscle I mean, a shit, and losing fat. Um, water will shred all the water weight, water will replenish your muscles. Water is, I could literally, this long, speak to you why water is good for you. You need to drink a lot of water. Um, I'd say two gallons a day. Holy two crap. Gallons. <laughs> One gallon a day is enough, guys. Um, um, natural geyser, by far the best water you can get. We are not sponsored. Mm. We're not sponsored. All right. Uh, second tip. And the second tip for losing fat. Yes. Intermediate fasting. Have a six-hour window of eating. Very easy, simple. People like to complicate it. Hey, six you just, hour. You just asked your own question, though. It's not cool. What do you mean? You asked your you own asked question. Me. This you is asked spontaneous me. question. Three. Spontaneous three. question. You asked me three, though. All right, go ahead. Why Number two is intermediate fasting. Why? Why intermediate fasting, you say? Because you can build muscle and lose fat at the same time. It's the easiest consistent diet to hold. And you don't feel like you're on diet because you can eat like a lot of good food, with whatever you want. You, you within can, your eating window. How about eating, you give a brief- Six hour window. A, a six hour eating window. Six hour eating window of calories. Anything out of that six hours, you can't ingest any more calories. You can just drink water. Look, you can't ingest any calories. People are like, oh, I got, ate a banana. No, you can't eat a banana. You have a six hour window to eat bananas. Wait for the banana period of eating in that six hour window. People always, oh, yeah, I ate a banana before I went to the gym. The whole point is to come to the gym fasted. Okay? So no bananas. Uh, now, third bananas question. are really good for you. I'm telling you no bananas outside the six hour window. Now, number three, you want a three? Yes. Three, I say hit cardio. High intensity interval training? High intensity interval training. Google it, you know what I'm saying? You can find it. That's kind of weird. Improvise. What are you doing? A lot of people don't like to improvise their workouts. Guess what? This is the first time I've ever done this, and it's the best burn I've ever got in my entire life. Um, you gotta learn to listen to your body. You gotta learn to just do what it does. Dude, Be grounded. This looks like you're about to snap your um, shit up. My shoulders feel like there's gravel inside, and it's 60 grit sandpaper. Ah! <laughs> He's hitting a chest fly right now, guys. This is the, the number one most important workout if you want your chest to grow. This right here, guys, it's all hypertrophy, you know? You are maximizing the contraction of the muscle. You are sending nutrients to the muscle for it to grow. You're saying, hey guys, hey, pectorials, I want you to grow and I don't want you to stop. So he's gonna hit 50 more reps, all right? One. 50? Two. <laughs> I'm just joking, you can go. So failure, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One more for me. There you go, send the nutrients. Send the nutrients. Oh. Great. Look oh. guys, that, it's that last rep. It's that last rep that counts. Any other rep doesn't count. You work out to get to that last rep because that last rep is what your body's not used to. That's where your body wasn't a week ago. And that's why your body grows, that last rep. 
always go to failure. Let me drop some knowledge on them. Let me drop some knowledge. All right, guys, I'm gonna drop some knowledge. And when I drop knowledge, it's not, not a joke. So, a lot of people wonder why their chest isn't growing, why they have a bird chest. Originally, um, I called my brother Bird in my telephone because he had a bird chest for the longest time. Longest time. And then he started working out like me and then suddenly his chest just sparked and grew like a wildfire in the forest. So, what you guys want to do is completely distract yourself. Um, a lot of people say mind-muscle connection. No. I say mind-muscle. No, no, no. I say mind-muscle, forget it. So just keep <laughs> repping until you just realize that your chest is on fire. See, in a wildfire, you don't really know that the force is on fire until it's already gone. So, <clears throat> apply the same philosophy to your chest flies, and damn, you got a good workout. You see, I've completely forgot that I've repped probably around 35 reps. You guys can <laughs> go back and count, but damn, the fire is already burned. All the trees are burned. All the trees are burnt. All the trees are burnt. The chest is inflamed. Mind muscle connection. Psych. Mind muscle. Forget it. <clears throat> so, uh, what I'm doing, guys, is. Every time I, I can't do it. Ah, uh, my shoulder. Whoa. That's how you know you're getting a good workout. His All shoulders right, gave it. out. We're back up. Can I tell you that they used to call me bird chest? You wanna no, know? he's scorpion chest. You wanna know what I. He's scorpion chest. You look like a damn camel. <clears throat> You look like a damn camel. We have action. Alright, hold on. I'm about to get a hernia. Check this out. Oh wow, hit that hoe. Get a hernia. This is this is how you get a this is how we take our My Instagram. friend Alfie taught me this. You're in some murky water, you're trying to find the keys. Find the keys. Find the keys. You're rushing the blood to your arms right find now. Find the keys. Find the keys. I can't find them. Oh shit, I got him. Look at him. Pass out. He's out. He's out, guys. That is how. You do it. Mind, muscle, forget it. Right now, he's focused on the muscle. He's gonna be like, oh, it's burning, it's burning. Nope, forget about it. Talk to me about something. Try it out, talk to me about something. Um, why won't McDonald's bring the McRib back? <laughs> oh my I goodness. I the McRib, dog. <laughs> Sorry, when I don't hit biceps for a while, I get anxiety. I'm gonna hit my biceps. Spontaneous workouts like these guys. I've never tried this before in my life, and I kid you not, one of the best contractions ah, I've ever gotten in my life. <laughs> I can see the muscle fibers, really. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Go for 10 more. One. A lot of people are scared to do something different. Guess what, guys? Ah! This is one of the best workouts you could possibly do in your life. Look at my chest. It's so you cut yourself early, dude. You quit too early. There's two ways you can hit these flies. Right now, decline. Decline. Oh. Three sets, isn't it? If you contract the muscle correctly, you can be in and out of the gym 30 minutes. Now middle. Oh. Oh. Two sets. Two reps. Now incline. Keep everything tight. Keep your elbows bent. Lower your back. Drop your shoulders. And. Look. Look at the difference. I could do this. Normal people, this is normal people right here. This is what you don't want to do. All back. I can do 50 of these. Drop your back. Pinch your back, drop your shoulders. Pop that chest out, say it with your chest. Hit it. Woo! Feedback will do us tremendous, tremendous help. If you just sit there for about two seconds and say, I like this type of video. Can we get a leg workout? Can we get this? Can we get how to do this? And we can direct our videos towards what you guys want because it's about you. It's I. We genuinely want to help you guys. How? Ah! <laughs> You're starting to piss me off. Right here. We have to be equal and look at the camera. 
Like this, no, no, don't flex your chest. Flex your lats, flex your lats. Abs, too much, you're, too, you're forcing it too much. Just a nice, casual pose. There you go, look at the camera. Teach, teaching my brother how to flex. Signing out, earlybirds.com. We don't have a website yet, but we will. Hurry up, soon, hurry up. Oh, shit. Oh. Fuck. Oh. <laughs>